What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. So to round off up at last time, uh, we are under siege from a combined Spanish-Ottoman force around the city of Madrid. So now we do have a whole bunch of infantry to help defend the city, so I'm fairly okay. I'm pretty confident with what we've got. Um, but if the worst should... well, the worst shouldn't befall us, hopefully. But this is a good opportunity to knock out two stacks. Especially the Ottomans, because they have since declared war on us, which is a real problem. I'm planning on taking my army that's landed at Cagliari and sending them to Cairo to open up another front against the Ottomans. So they can't concentrate their forces against us in the Balkans. They'll have to send some around the Mediterranean. So I'll take, I want to capture Cairo, then capture Jerusalem converting the population along the way. That's the plan. Cairo is a valuable region, it's wealthy, so it'll be good for us to hold it and to deny it to the enemy. So, ooh, we've got a breach. It's actually pretty good. So I'm still gonna want some men on the walls, just to not let the enemy have entirely free reign. And I'm not going to be, I don't want to guarantee they'll all come in this breach. I mean, most of them probably will. What I'd probably like to do is something like this. This. Unit inside the building. Unit here. Are there any other breaches to worry about? Yes, there is. You're in there. Something like this. And we've got three spare for any contingencies. Such as them blowing another hole in the breach, but if they attack here. That's that's pretty good because then that's that. It's almost you know, this corner will be damaged. I'm tempted to pull. Ah, the Spanish are coming from over here, so they may make other arrangements. So you guys need to stop firing at will then get back on to firing at will because I want you guys all to man your positions on the fire step. Yeah. Advanced Turkish infantry. Good. Man the, man the cannons and man the fire step to just chip away with these Spanish pretenders. I must knock out one gun as well. Immediately. Here comes another almighty volley from their artillery, including quicklime. That's really scary, actually, so let's probably do something like this to make sure we have no units directly perpendicular to it. But these men must hold their position. Is there are to their artillery shooting at? Let's see what happens if I put my armed citizenry here. Actually, let's have a look at these the Cairo Janissaries. They look pretty neat. Maybe even... 
maybe even something like that. So this represents like an island in the middle. To hopefully attract them all to try run in. While the rest of our men... Oh good, if you, can, if you guys can even man a cannon. Or two. Still pretty good. Good, these Spanish are going to be eviscerated by the time they get to the breach. Bunch of militia, some marines, line infantry guards, blunderbuss shotgunners. But if they continue to just push past us, that will be good. Good, good attacks. Okay, so there's some manoeuvring, but there's no back entrances in that I've not got covered. This is their first foray inside the city. Let's probably move a unit here. It's been armed citizenry, hopefully. When they've realigned, we'll maybe be able to kill the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. So the head of the column that's marching in is being engaged by our infantry. The cavalry is coming in, but I'll just dump all my men into square. Twenty-fifth Order have been destroyed. There's round shot coming in. That's positive. At least it could be something else. Okay, you go into square. The irregular Spanish guerrillas charged in. Okay, both of you guys get into square formation. These cavalrymen should probably die quite well. I don't quite know why. I don't quite know why they charged out. That's why you only need to reload and hit the native African infantry. Can you guys stop firing? Because they're causing the 48th to waver. out for these guys when their square breaks. Aha, you guys are shooting into their back. Certainly doesn't help. You guys can start firing again, so I've diagnosed what the problem was. Good. The infantry guards have attacked the wall. Send these guys in to help attack, help support my infantry. Let's get you guys to stop firing. OK, 
you guys can stop firing at will, then get back to firing at will to make sure you occupy the fire steps. Some cavalry tried to get around the flank, but it did not work. Let's get you guys. Actually, no, does it even matter if I lose that section of the wall? Probably not. They'll just run down and then get shot. Manning the fire step here to fire down to the regulars. Got some Lancer guards coming around. I suppose actually the main objective would be to make sure we don't lose the. We don't lose the wall, because we don't want... We don't want to lose control of the, the walls of the, of the fort. Can now start firing at will, because the men on the walls... There's not that many of them, and we can also start doing damage to the 1st Infantry. Let's take position here. These are more Nizam Sadi infantry, which isn't what I'm scared by. My men are better than them. Maybe not the marines that are coming up with them. Can you guys stop firing? Firing to the back of my own garrison line. Same with you. Deploy more like that. can continue firing. Okay, the Marines are now doing work. present and open up on the Mamluk guards. They're probably going to rout. Yeah, there we go. See, it's the Nizam said it are backed up with marines that's causing the problems over here. Keep moving our reinforcements back. Let's do something like this. We'll fire it all off. 
in the event that we lose the that we lose the gate. Fire well off. Because these guys are doing the same thing. They're just standing there. They're not actually up on the parapet firing their muskets. You guys drop into square. Fire it well back on. I just seem bugged. Okay, these men charge into the Marines. Let's be repelled. Another cavalry attack. There we go, now we're firing our muskets. Man, those marines have really cut our infantry up. Okay. They've got a way in. Yeah, but just... Just before they started getting in. I noticed it. So now defending the gate doesn't really matter. They've already got a way in over in this direction. These men just get in position. And begin just lash a pouring fire onto the enemy as they advance into the town. Oh, you guys are getting hit by Provincial Cav, Mamelukes. You guys get into your square and hope that these handful of muskets can do the job. So who's in here? Militia and shotgunners. Shotgunners are probably going to do really well. Thank God they've gone all funny. These guys charge the Israeli. So we've lost the gatehouse, and that's reasonable. If we can knock out, you're on the. So say the army that was the unit that was dying was on the gate, wasn't it? Building lost gatehouse. Yeah, I get that. Okay, building lost barracks. Yeah, they've taken that. Come on, tiny little square formation should be able to do pretty well against a larger regiment of horse. We're getting picked at from inside the the building. I think we might have lost this one, fellas. It's just so many men. And this quick lime shot coming in. Okay, let's. Pull our defensive line 
back away from the wall and to buy a bit more distance. Oh, these Serenis are beating my line infantry one on one. set up. And actually these guys need to get out and uh, engage while the smaller unit takes over their position inside. You guys pivot. They can still hit us with round shot but there's not a lot we can do about that. Yeah, they're going to kill my the one unit that's protecting the flank over here. We're going to make them pay hard for this. So who's in here? Unit of militia. You guys try to retake. You guys try to retake the barracks. So these guys kill the guerrillas. Good, then get up here. take him out. I'm not sure where the hell they came from. God damn the Ottoman devils. Get involved. God, eh? Siege is a so buggy. Look. They're deciding to run straight into the wall over here rather than over an attack. And rather than go in, these guys want to sit here. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to do something like this just to stay even further out of their range. walked in the gate. Oh, I think this combination of Spanish and Spanish and uh, Ottoman has just it's just ended us. For now anyway. Do as much damage as possible to them. That's what it's about now. Because we still do have, because this was the garrison, we still do have two full stacks in Spain, so it's not as though we're losing a big chunk of our key forces here. Yeah, lots of our troops are wavering. Oh, quick, yeah. <laughs> and quick climb's just the final uh, nail in the coffin. But there is Spanish guerrillas falling back. Keep falling back. Just keep, just keep attacking. Cairo infantry guards have almost quit. You guys aren't going to fire at will. Ok, 
Okay, these men are going to fall back. Because they're at least in good strength. This, These men, the glorious 50th. Oh, for some reason they've decided to look, creep off and get engaged in a melee combat over here. Which I obviously don't want. I want them to sit back and fire by rank into the enemy. Poor old 49th. firing now. As long as my infantry just... No, they're all dead. The artillery is going to be what kills us in the end. If we didn't have enemy infantry to worry, enemy artillery to worry about, constantly picking at us from that range, I think we, could, we might be able to do it. Keep reloading, mighty 49th. So this is this order. They're they're at about third strength. These men have no more musket ammunition, so they will charge. My line will shrink to accommodate those men. These guys will form up to engage the marines. Because we can march an army around and put the city under siege. Oh, well we can't do it in one turn because we've got our whole kill the Spanish plan. Serve your ammo. Pull back a little bit more. Who's going to break first? Speed up time a little bit. Our men can't beat them. But the second we break okay fire at will pour fire into the backs of our own men 45 men are still here <laughs> yeah there's nothing we could do we can't avoid their artillery. I mean, we could literally move back, but then we'd have to uh, get back into position to challenge for the uh, control zone. And they've still got a good amount of stuff to actually contest. Like, God, they've got the horse guard cavalry back there. They can still hit us from back here. Okay, so let's keep our men back to hold. They're, I think now they're just out of range.
Hmm. So my only hope, in terms of actually winning this fight, is that uh, the AI kind of screws around for the rest of the battle. So right now it looks like they're pulling back, potentially for another assault. So what I'm going to do guys, is I'm going to cut the recording here, then bring you guys back um, at the end of the battle, or at the, you know, when the last cool bits happen. So see you in a second everyone. Well, everyone. Holy hell, it looks like in a stunning twist of events, we're actually going to keep the city because they've attacked us and if they don't capture it in a minute and 30 seconds, we win. And I'm going to do a quick explanation of why I think this has happened. So I think the AI has, they wanted to reorganise before the attack, but this unit of Israeli here isn't all here. Some of them are up here. And I think the AI wants to reorganise and attack, but they cannot they cannot ever fully reorganise because some of their men are stuck up on the wall. So, despite having the square root of nothing left, a handful of cartridges for a couple of men, it looks like we are going to win. And we're going to hold Madrid and push the enemies back. Let's see that sweet, sweet sign. Victory. End battle. <laughs> so that's my guess why they why they didn't pursue the attack. They wanted to reorganise, form a new line, then advance again, but they could not form a new line. Which is exceptionally lucky for us, because as you saw, we uh, just didn't have enough men. So there we go. <laughs> we might have lost two thousand men, but they lost four thousand. So, luckily, Spain has already had its turn. So that army, the immediate consequences aren't as much of a problem. The Ottomans are going to push on their other fronts. But I'm not so bothered about that. <sighs> See what I cannot tell you. That, oh no. I was about to say relief. No relief. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to hold that uh, army for very long. That city for very long, I should say. Yeah, but I think this campaign is probably defunct mainly because every other major power is in, a, is in one almighty alliance. So I can't... You know, I've got a, I'm clinging on to the edge of my position in Europe, but the, the AI, the way the diplomacy in this game has balanced out, uh, we just can't, we can't, we can't fight them, we just can't. Major nation, Sweden, Let's see if we do it again. You want Lombardy? I don't want to give them territory, but I don't. I really hate giving them territory. You know I do. But this keeps them out of our land for just another turn. Another turn's all we need. So this guy's gonna demand the surrender of the garrison. But they fight against it. Minus fourteen. So we're gonna destroy the university to get rid of. Actually, the university will get rid of all of that. Let's take out Lisbon. Let's take this army. And let's go take Morocco to knock out Spain once and for all. But looking at the timer, we've <laughs> we've finished this episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for hopefully the end of the Spanish faction. Cheers, everyone. Okie dokie, and I am back. So, um, dare I say it, I'm feeling fairly happy with how things are going. We're starting to really ratchet up our income. Ooh, and the garrison at Edinburgh is sallying out. Let's do this. So while our income 
is increasing significantly. We've also got to bear in mind that our responsibility area is also growing at a commensurate rate. So now we also have to be careful of holding the west coast of Spain and North Africa. We're soon going to have to keep an eye on holding North Africa, which isn't going to be an easy task itself. We're going to be... We're going to have responsibilities at the British Isles. It's going to be... Yeah, we need to be careful. So they didn't have any mortars because they had a full garrison. So let's build our... Let's build our defensive position. Well, I'd probably actually like the bulk of my artillery to be out in the open ground. I don't mind having one gun in with the art with it in the uh, trees. I presume it's probably a very good tactical reason, like it, it hits the trees. But that's not really something I've been super bothered about. Okay, let's group up. Deploy our artillery. Cavalry on each flank. General can stay where he is. Grenadiers. Hit the grenadiers. In the brief moment you're going to have to hit them. Do some damage to the Grenadiers. Oh, look at that. 60 men, third of their unit, gone. Poof. Let's speed up time a little bit, because right now... Not a great deal is happening. Can you continue to hit the Scottish Line Infantry? I'd be very excited to use those in a Great Britain campaign. drop. Quick climb on. If I drop on the militia, it might go pah and kill some of the Scottish line as well. Hey, these guys are also... Ah, oh, you need to fire. Quick climb. Apparently you're engaging someone. Who... Yeah, there we go. I hit the militia, missed. Or a long round went on and hit the uh, other troops. Okay, keep hitting the grenadiers just to make sure they die. Because they are against a slightly weaker position here. Oh, it's the shotgunners. They're advancing through the gate. Wasted shot. Some of these might have been blown backwards from the shell. But their focus is going to increasingly be short range fire against the provincial militia. Come on, the seventh. Fire another volley and destroy those grenadiers. Shells out. Slightly behind. Oh yes, look at that. 44 men remaining. Done your job. Target the grenadiers coming in from behind. Everyone else can likely be intercepted by my current infantry. Especially these militia. Yeah, look at that. Blunderbuss shotgunners are advancing through the woods, but they're now in range of my infantry, and they're routing. Good stuff. Got a lot of cavalry at the back, waiting. The artillery's limbering up. Yeah, we're not so bothered about their infantry here now. Send out our cavalry to do some 
interception and destruction. Okay, let's retarget some of my other quick lime. Hit the Scottish line. You guys stop firing. It's another 40 odd grenadiers killed. Do some damage, then get back. Ha! Ah, infantry is finally coming around the flank, Highlander warbands. Start to pound them into submission. Garrison guards. Good quick lime shot, quick lime shot against those grenadiers would be just what the doctor ordered. There they go. Some good damage. Some more good damage. There's one more shell to come in, I think. Provincial line is broken. Damn, the British are being not very tactically minded at the moment. Throw my cavalry into the mix. So there is still lots of cavalry inside. Yeah. <laughs> Not going to get many shots off there, Chief. I'll go hit the Grenadiers, take him out. It's another Grenadier unit coming in at the distance. Come on, Cavalry. Keep chopping them up. Charging through the woods. To get the most cover, pull my cavalry back. Send my regiment of horse to intercept the general's bodyguard. You guys fire at will. They're losing decisively. Damn, they made it close. But not close enough. Okay, let's push up. This wing. Let's blast the foot guards. My claim is just absolutely gutting the enemy forces. Which, of course, is exactly why we've got it. Okay, let's get all my cavalry. Let's get all my artillery to start quick climbing a different target. So I want to use... Oh, you're going to have to engage the light horse. Which might be really dangerous in terms of quick climb. Quick climb casualties. But I've at least got one unit of cavalry out to help 
maul their forces. So London's one of those regions like not London, Scotland's one of those regions I expect to rebel. Well, not rebel, but you know, be unhappy at being conquered by a bunch of Catholics. Okay, this entire flank just go into square formation then, I think. Dragoons are oh the horse grenadier guards, They're not classic dragoons. So we either want to make them break or I just run past them. It's a lot of artillery fire. Chase after the Grenadiers. Yes, Cavalry. You've got some problems, haven't you? The main problem is you're just Cavalry. Which means you will struggle against an army full of infantry. Good, so kill that grenadier. I do know there's cavalry charging out the door here. But they've changed their mind. It's Highland of Foot Warband. I'm not so bothered about that. Oh, they did come back. Oh, my cavalry on the left has moved over to the right, hasn't it? I knew it was a fairly risky strategy to just charge my fusiliers in. Well, not charge them in, but, you know, get them in a position to just fire. Yeah, I see the spikes. All of you, quick climb the engineers! Let's get some fusiliers on the walls while I dump some troops here to form square. Yep, there go the guards. Okay, keep dropping it right on the door. It is you guys. Okay. Just keep dropping it right here. So you guys can drop square. I mean, they've already charged outside, but. Who are you after? Okay, yeah, you come back over here. Mm. 
There we go. Now, actually, you stay like this. They're about to try run through the front door, which obviously I do not want. So let's just keep on climbing. So obviously the city won't be mine, but we will do a huge amount of damage. Actually, the gates are ours now. So they can't get out. So these cavalrymen are trapped. So just send a whole bunch of guys to just climb the walls, take up position on the walls and fire down into the uh, into the city. So we are going to speed up time. Switch to round shot. Because they can't actually stop us now. Everyone. Just climb up. firing. They are trying to kill us. So let's stop firing entirely. Okay, this is an enterprising young chap. I'm not queuing for those. I'm going over here. Yep, they've all routed. Excellent battle indeed. But this hour special has been very critical, and to be honest, I'm kind of glad my recording crashed. Uh-oh. Here come the Russians. But at the very least, if I capture the British Isles, I'll be able to kind of conduct a multi-pronged attack. And it looks like, ah, the Swedish and... Okay. Are the Swedish and the Dutch at war? If they are, the Grand Alliance or the Great Alliance in Europe may have just crumbled. So we've got the steam engine, which is great. Obviously, we've got loads of things that can make money. War declared between Sweden and the United Provinces. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like any of the any of the grand alliances have been broken that would have been ideal now they're still allied with russia the ottomans britain and the mughal empire everyone is betrayed i know they've kept their alliance they've kept their alliance but they're just not they're just not doing anything with it so we have war of the russians so these guys are probably going to go do something frustrating um but, to be honest, I don't think there's much bother. I'm not so bothered about that. Prosperous water mill earns us a whole bunch of cash. does make them unhappy, though. So we may want... Hmm. Or do I just upgrade the ones in Naples? Because Naples is an extremely wealthy region. Well, I don't think ultimately it makes too much difference. Let's get a port in Sardinia and recruit some infantry just to sit in there. See, the steam engine factory here is a bit cheaper as well. Hmm. I may have to go Imperial Palace just to help keep them, keep the ruffians in line. as well as then spend a whole bunch of cash 
building up all sorts of things. So you don't don't reinforce. I mean, yeah, we've already fought this battle in Iran, more or less. So we can build this. We can. Chapter school's Protestant, isn't it? Yes, it is. Get rid of the Protestant chapter school. Okay, now you need a lot of replenishment. These guys are going to have to take their time. Let's destroy the dockyard. Start to convert people to Catholicism. Which is great. And we now the other galley probably want to sit you in Casablanca. Okay, now 13,000 next turn, which is wonderful. And I wonder if it's worthwhile attempting to say, you know what, Russia? They want... Ooh. That's very tempting. That's incredibly tempting. That's a good offer from the AI. Just goes to show how much money they've got. They're off into, they went into offer 43 grand. Hmm. I think I may take that offer. I think I may. Forty-three grand is huge. Greece, so obviously, it's providing us. Say, if it's providing us about a thousand a turn, it's forty-three turns of income right now. I think I might take it. I think I will. Good. Because we can still have... We now still have an army here. Don't have a navy. Well, we do have a navy, sorry. I don't know why I said I don't have a navy. But we suddenly do have a... We definitely do have a bigger requirement now on our navy. So you're just a dry dark. We can really get our economy firing. Bearing in mind, the Swedish are there with a small army waiting. It's probably better to not grow your troops when you're given a massive influx of cash because troops increase your demand for support. Whereas building... Uh, building... Uh, industrial buildings actually increases your increases your wealth increases your bottom bottom line so that's my preference there speaking of actually now might be a good time to check about our roads morocco can get roads okay let's build Trade port. Let's build another church school. We can probably knock down this seminary. So we can get ready to build another university in Madrid. You can then be replenished. You can grow. You can grow. You've got good roads. Not going to fully replenish you yet. I want to check for any more optional places to upgrade. We could repair this place. It is a pros it is prosperous. But then again, it's always at risk of being raided and I can't really stop it. So Sweden may take this opportunity to push. Uh, it does mean the Ottomans have more incentive to drive towards Venice. Obviously it doesn't mean this British army that was here has now been catapulted back to Tunis. So I want to make sure these guys, you keep replenishing. We should build a port here, really. So there's another British army hanging around in the middle of nowhere. If you guys leave the territory, they'll probably complain. Oh yeah, a lot. 
But I think that's a really good option now. That's a really good situation to be in. So much so I might actually... Well, yeah, they've got nothing, so let's just take it. Obviously they hate it, which is understandable. We can't repair anything. But it's another... Obviously, obviously we're not taxing them. But it's 15,000, because Russia of Trade is worth 2,000. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I've gone over by quite a lot. And uh, see you next time for the continued adventures of the Italian States. Cheers, everyone.